Tennis elbow or golfer's elbow is a, um, a generic term for lateral epicondylitis or medial epicondylitis, which basically means uh, inflammation or injury to those tendons at the elbow. The lateral epicondyle is the outside part of the elbow where the muscles that extend the wrist attach. The medial epicondyle is the muscles where the, uh, that flex the wrist attach. Those can get injured by repetitive overuse, trauma, uh, generally due to poor biomechanics that can be actually located elsewhere, such as in the shoulder and the spine. We find that you have loss of range of motion in the shoulder or uh, trouble in the spine, that can lead to poor biomechanics and extra stress on those tendons down in the elbow. Uh, traditional treatments to help these uh, conditions would include rest, ice, heat, physical therapy, injections of uh, corticosteroids, uh, or surgery to uh, possibly heal those tendons. Um, the downside of some of those uh, traditional treatments is that the anti-inflammatories uh, can impair the healing mechanisms. Those steroid injections have been found in recent research to maybe help with pain for four weeks or so, but long-term, six months, 12 months down the line, actually make you worse and you have more pain uh, versus if you did nothing at all. Um, surgery is also uh, fairly invasive. You can have down times that are uh, far longer than what you would uh, with physical therapy or stem cell or platelet-rich plasma uh, treatments. Our treatments include PRP or platelet-rich plasma uh, and stem cell injections that we can guide directly into those areas of injury. Uh, platelet-rich plasma is a product of taking out blood from a simple blood draw as if you would if you were given labs. Uh, we process that in our lab and isolate the platelet portion and the growth factors. Those can stimulate healing in those tendons. Also, stem cells have been used to uh, repair these tears as well. And we draw out the bone marrow aspirate from the hip bone, uh, and then we process that in our lab, and we can extract the stem cell portion and re-inject that directly into those tendons. For these injections, we use ultrasound guidance, so we can actually see the areas where you have injury and inject directly into those areas so we know we're getting our uh, healing factors and stem cells in the correct locations.